My name is Paul Collins, and I'm here at Zeitgeist Gallery, where I have a show, Building Forever. It's a show of uh, drawings and sculptures. These are the first two pieces in the show called uh, Training My Replacement. It's the idea of, uh, both of them get uh, and circle around this idea of generating an other. Both these pieces uh, sort of promise a protection by the cycle of building around a central element. So in the middle of the sculpture is um, sort of a kernel piece, which is a painting making a copy of itself and handing it off. What I've built around it is sort of a protective structure. The piece of the original piece, the kernel piece, is very delicate. The larger piece sort of promising protection, uh, but it's like a faux protection. Uh, so these two pieces um, um, operate as many, as many of the pieces in the show do. Uh, it's a drawing that beget a sculpture, and then that sculpture again beget a larger drawing. And it is really simple. It's a picture of my belly. Dealing with some um, coming of age things this year and just uh, coming to grips trying to uh, be healthier because I need to live longer. There are a lot of elements in the show that go back and forth between uh, the image of something and the, um, and the true thing itself. All, almost all the sculptures uh, operate as faux lightweight shells of the images that they're, sh that they're showing and many of the drawings sort of release the real version of them out through the drawing. A big character in the show is this Seeker. He plays out through a number of pieces. He's the uh, central character of these drawings. I'm not sure if he is a saintly truth seeker or he is an indolent person just looking to escape his reality. He, come, he's, uh, he finds uh, embodiment both as a real version here, the Seeker, and this is the ecstatic Seeker, um, and as, uh, as an ideal, as somebody um, who would be imagined by somebody who wanted to escape. So here is more of a statue of a Seeker, and it's actually the fashioning of the statue, uh, the detailing of the head, the painting of the body, uh, the legs being repaired. There is a full-size uh, version of the Seeker, uh, which is a central element in the sculpture called Pulp Mountain. Uh, Pulp Mountain is uh, a sculpture some nine foot by nine foot um, uh, made out of fake cardboard rocks and this plaster figure, central figure. Uh, he has some spare parts, some spare hands to hold his staff, spare feet. He is talking to the birds and the birds are talking to him. It is modeled after one of my favorite paintings, which is a painting of St. Francis uh, by Bellini. St. Francis uh, was one of my favorite saints growing up and I, I took without question that uh, his saintliness was based on his benevolence and his generosity to the point where he would preach to the animals. As I've gotten older, I've, again, I, I wonder if, if that's not a terrible arrogance, uh, preaching what we know to birds and whether the birds can best preach to us. There are some drawings that go along with it. One of it's called Bird's Words, uh, and it is the bird preaching back at St. Francis. I'm standing by uh, probably the largest sculpture in the show called uh, Raft for a Storm Surge, it's sort of based on a dream. Imagine a, a big storm pushes a flood through your house and you have two seconds to grab everything and you don't make a lot of great choices. This installation of the sculpture and the drawings around it is really uh, the heart of the show here. There are four drawings on the wall, uh, all based on different installations and versions that I set up of this uh, raft. Uh, but all with different takes. In some cases, I've drawn it and um, tried to articulate it as exactly as it is here in the gallery. In other ones, I've set it up different ways. Each time I draw, I draw it, it seems to accentuate and bring a different story out of this pile. So that tension between an open-ended exploration of objects that then generate stories was really the relationship that I was trying to uh, get at with these works. I wasn't trying to resolve the sculptures in a way that they only generated one story and, and the same thing with the drawings. And between them I wanted to uh, really create a story generator.